Brad Turner, I'm, that's my name, and uh, I'm director of ensembles, one of the directors of ensembles here at Capital University in the jazz department. I direct the uh, 730 big band, brass ensemble. Um, I do a small ensemble class, which is small jazz groups, and I work with uh, vocal improv students as well. Since actually the, the year after I first started teaching here is when I started this band, and it's my own personal project that um, I've maintained. It's a group that I put together in 1993. We've toured the country. We've put out five albums, five CDs under our own name. Been nominated for Junos, uh, won various awards, West Coast Music Awards, things like that. We've been playing together ever since. the years with this band that if I write something new and I kind of know ahead of time that we're probably not going to have a chance to rehearse much, I got to keep that in mind when I'm writing and not overwrite stuff that's ridiculously hard, you know. Don't hand out any science projects on the stand and expect people to come up with it right away. It's not really fair. So it sort of is a good way to govern my own writing technique. Um, and, you know, having played with these guys for so long, I know their tendencies and I know what they like to do and what they don't like to do and, and keep that in mind when I'm writing for them. And so, yeah, it can be a little bit sketchy sometimes, but generally it comes off pretty well. Yeah, maybe that, you know, I like to play with these guys and we don't get to play as often as I'd like. You know, through the years we've, we've had our, str our stretches of gigs, you know, regular in-house gigs, playing once a week kind of thing here and there. Um, you know, and then there'll be some pretty dry times, you know, in the band like this and in, in a city like Vancouver or any major city may only play two or three times a year. So, so it's pretty specialized kind of thing. Um, teaching jazz and music in general is a little less it it's, resists being regimented a little bit more than teaching something, say, uh, like calculus or, you know. Um, so yeah, I have a general sense of where I, what I, the ideas I want to get across. Of course, there's course outlines and things like that that you need to follow. And, uh, you know, um, w in a general sense, yes, I do have goals and, and concepts I want to get across to the students and hopefully by the end of the semester have them progress to a certain certain point. Uh, but like I say, it's kind of hard to, to be real cut and dried about that. Everyone's skills are so different. Everyone learns differently. So. Uh, I was in the room actually, at years ago, and Bruno was playing his piano and was driving him insane, so he took it upon himself to tune it. And uh, he was tuning it, and this is when Bruno was starting to learn how to tune pianos, and he actually is an accomplished piano tuner now and does it professionally. But. This is back in the, <clears throat> yeah. the formative days of Bruno's tuning. Anyway, he's, he's working on this piano. The door pops open, and it's uh, Mr. Cario, as in Lars, poking his head in the door. And we're all like, won't stop. And Bruno's like, bring, bing, bing. <laughs> I guess it amounted, it, there was a threatened expulsion, wasn't there? Yeah. We worked it out. <laughs> we worked it out. Needless to say, Bruno wasn't tuning any more pianos around the school. Well, you need to talk about repertoire on a week-to-week -week basis. What music are we going to be dealing with? Um, concert schedule, what performances through the semester are, are required of the students, where they need to be and when. Um, then things like um, rehearsal deportment, how you handle yourself in, in, in the classroom situation. Um, preparation, are you prepared every time you come to rehearse or to perform? Punctuality. Lots of things that go into being a professional musician, stuff that's just expected of you. Um, and so all those things are written into the course outline. Um, and, uh, you know, if you take care of all those things and um, show up prepared and do your best, you're, you're going to do fine with your mark. It's pretty, pretty straight ahead. Mm -hmm.